Aaron Johnson just came right back. Well, I just um enjoy my day after I woke up early. Well, I'm just switching gears now. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I heard news about R. Kelly who has been indicted for um sexual misconduct and our abuses. Well I'll be putting those links there. So, that led me to this question. What will happen to R. Kelly's albums after he's been convicted of all these charges he was facing? Well, let's find out. A typical music artists can make lots of money because their music is in CDs and in movies with background music because of licensing and much, much more. However, R. Kelly's um, track, I Believe I Can Fly, on top of his right there, is common. However, um, he won't be flying for long. So, um, if R. Kelly's album sales has dwindled, that may result to him losing a lot of revenue. Seeing how Austin Jones has his YouTube account terminated weeks ago when his channel got demonetized when he's been arrested. And now his channel's been terminated, gone for good. And now Austin Jones will be um, spending time in prison on May. Now back to what happens if R. Kelly's music has been um end up left in the dust after R. Kelly was convicted. Well, sorry for my mix up. Anyway, if R. Kelly's albums has been stopped being purchased by anyone intentionally because of a mute R. Kelly movement online and offline. And there's a hashtag mute R. Kelly on Facebook and Twitter and other social networking websites. If I were a music store owner, I would pull all of his albums off my virtual shelf or physical shelf if I have a brick and mortar store. If I were a record label, I would cut ties with R. Kelly. If I were a filmmaker, I would never purchase licensing from R. Kelly under any way, nor use his music in my YouTube videos. Anyway, if RK is behind bars, um, maybe his copyrights of his music may be forfeited, if do so by a court order. Or in some cases, um, he would lose um, credits from SoundCloud. YouTube Music, Apple iTunes Music, Amazon Music, Google Play, Spotify, Reverb Nation, 
even rail stations, any of those. So if R. Kelly's music albums right there are left in the dust for years, but someone has got them uncovered and played them years later, well, they would say, hey, who is this artist? Well, you know, that already asks us a question. However, there is another question attached to this. If R. Kelly was convicted of all charges, he would be spending time on bars. Well, instead of him having a fancy dinner in his mansion or the restaurant, he would just have some type of prison food in a prison commissary. But when he goes there, he would just, he just want to have bread and water. When you first go in, well, they don't do like bread and water anymore. They just do like foods that are supposed to be nutritious for anyone. Because you know, in prison, their food system is kind of different. At least you can buy things from prison commissary if he opts to find a work program there. <clears throat> anyway. Watch Bottom Bars, his albums may still be bought by someone. Well, I will not buy his albums, but at least I grew up listening to his albums when I was 7 to 8 years old. Like half a baby, and do you ever think? And I believe I can fly. And what I believe. His albums may be pulled from Google Play if people who have cut ties with R. Kelly grew by 75%. Although music Artists do often get themselves in serious trouble. And most celebrities who often get into legal trouble are immune from legal laws in the United States of America. And they are immune to the law enforcement either. If I were a music artist... I would not prey upon women for sex. Because me as a music artist has no need to keep my fame up for our sex or for our rock behavior. And I don't need to interact with fans a dirty way. I'll simply just create new tracks, I mean create new tracks and keep making new albums and that's all. No sexual acts. Ever. Never going to do it. However, The Butte R. Kelly movement 
I believe it's still growing. Well, I support the new R. Kelly movement. Because I would never buy albums and support him. Because me, Aaron Johnson, plans to become a musician, but have our systems all um, stalled. We are there taking breaks, but now me is back to making videos. Well, even if I have fans watching some of my videos, I will never do the same thing what R. Kelly did. I will never do the same thing what Austin Jones did. No way. I just keep creating content and that's all. And treat my viewers as viewers. And let the viewers, let the viewers, <coughs> excuse me, and let the viewers decide if they want to subscribe to my channel or not. Well, R. Kelly knows the laws about why you should never do this to people or sexual misconduct already. And maybe R. Kelly must have forgotten about it, or he must have condoned this type of act as home. A total hypocrite. Well, I wouldn't say you know better because, um, to me, saying that is, um, offensive. So, well, none of us don't know any better. Because us right there are different. Because us humans. It's just us right there with a broken society. Anyway, Water Kelly, well, it's bad to do all that sexual acts towards minors because it's against the law and it's illegal. That's why what will happen to him, he'll become a registered sex offender if he's convicted. So that's why I would never support his behavior under any way. And now, what will happen to R. Kelly? Um, he'll no longer um, be a recommended musician, but simply just a pedophile who was once a musician. Links are available at the description box. Check them out. And don't forget to check out the mute R. Kelly hashtag I just posted. So, um, if you want to come back to my channel, feel free to subscribe. And, um, I was trying to make some additional videos, but I have a limited supply. So sorry for intermittent uploading because, um, I was so busy. So... See y'all for now.